Hello traders, my name is Grigor Khorat and welcome to a new video analysis. Uh, in today's episode I will actually take a look on um, 10 year US notes in connection with some yen crosses like Euran and Pound Yen. Now uh, if we take a look on this longer term chart I uh, see here a new ABC movement in progress here for wave 4 and uh, now this is a 535 pattern which means you also need 5 subways down in wave C. Now this is not the case yet because here clearly you can see that we have only race 1, 2 and a very strong uh, drop after the US election into wave 3 and now this appears to be much slower recovery compared to previous declines. So typically this is wave 4 which is just more downside into wave 5 to see. So technically speaking we see more weakness available for 10 year US notes. Now what this means for the FX? Well if we compare this market 10 year US notes with pound yen okay, then we can actually see that these two markets are in perfect but negative correlation. Okay, so here in November of 2016, actually when 10 year US notes moved strongly to the downside into wave 3, at the same time pound yen as you can see moved strongly to the upside. And after that 10 year US note, notes moved into a new corrective recovery phase, what I believe it's a wave 4, so obviously pound yen moved also into a corrective uh, phase, which I see it as a triangle. So. From that perspective, when this wave 5 will show up, I think that there will be opportunity to look for um, some long ideas on pound yen, maybe euro yen. Okay, but I prefer pound yen because I think that uh, cable has a better, more bullish structure than euro dollar, which is actually sideways for the last few, uh, few weeks or <laughs> even bearish. So definitely I suggest to put more focus on pound yen, okay? So as I said, if these 10 year US notes are really headed lower, then pound yen has more upside, okay? So here we can expect wave 5 down as I said. So now we will take a look on this um, pound yen daily chart where you can see nice 5 waves down from 2015 highs which completed um, this sequence in 2016 because of this nice bounce clearly impulsive fashion above this upper trend line of an Elliott wave channel. So this breakout suggests that we are in a new free wave movement ABC. Now this price section from the last few weeks suggests that we are making a triangle in a wave B. Now this is an ABCDE pattern which can be finished not finished but near completion based on the 4 hour developments. Here you can see first subwave down unfolded in three waves. It was a deep but still a free wave movement, as the rules suggest in the triangles, where each subwave should be made by three waves. So this was wave A, then you have three waves bounce for a wave B, then you have wave C, D, and now ideally wave E trading around the super zone. Now trading um, these yen crosses can be very, very tricky. So I really suggest to wait on a confirming price action, especially when you also have a triangle here, before you take any trigger here, okay? Because triangles are also very tricky. It can occur in a wave four, okay? It can occur in a wave B, which means in the middle of a more complex wave four. So actually what would I suggest here and what I think it may happen is when 10 year US notes will start to roll over down for a wave five, that's when we will get a bounce here for this pound yen. So we really have to pay attention to 10 year US notes intraday price action. If we see a five wave drop and make sure that wave four is finished, that's when I believe pound yen will already be higher. So ideally we will see a five wave rally out of this triangle pattern. But as I said, trading triangles can be tricky. So ideally, we will have to wait on this break above wave D swing high because only this breakout will confirm that this triangle is finished and in such case we may focus on opportunities after pullbacks, okay? 
because as I said, if we are now in a pullback, this triangle, okay, can also then unfold as part of a more complex correction in wave B, and then you get a bounce. So it's really important to wait on an impulsive bounce out of this triangle pattern and ideally wait on, on a daily close above wave D and then look for resumption of an uptrend, okay? Because this leg down for a wave C for a more complex wave count is also probable, okay? Uh, now, but while this is my primary count, I'm not triangle in wave B, but uh, in the of a pre-wave decline um, is actually because of euro yen um, which uh, is actually moving lower but uh, I know that this this is actually a free wave recovery but I think it's part of something more complex to the upside why because this decline if you take a look on lower time frame chart you will see it's overlapping okay so ideally it's corrective move. Also, I, I see uh, current prices now at potential support. Here was a former swing high, and now here can be a new support. Okay, as you know, when the resistance is taken out aggressively, like here, okay, and then market retreats back to these levels, then this resistance becomes a support. So I'm expecting a bounce, especially because on the four hour chart, I can also see all completed subwaves to the down for this valid uh, completion of contraplane movement. It's an A, B, C decline, then you have a wave X and another A, B, C decline. And you can see plenty of overlaps here, okay? So clearly, I believe this is a contraplane movement. We are also here at some very important levels. Support of a former wave four, this was a, also a very huge spike it was made in December, at the start of December 2016. So probably there were some important orders here because you can see a very strong reaction to the upset after that. So I believe that this zone can once again prove to be a very important area for new reversal. So because we have we are at important levels, because we see 10-year US note at the end of that wave four, I think that it can be very interesting to look for evidences of a new turn up on the end process. So um, here, as you can see, we are already turning up from the support levels, also from PIP support levels. Uh, so if we get more buying this week and let's say above 119.90 level, then this would be quite important evidence that we are in a new bullish turn. Okay. Uh, also. Uh, stocks, as you know, are still in uptrend. I can take a look on the S&P 500. Uh, here you can see it's stocks still in uptrend. Yes, we are in a fifth wave, but fifth wave should be made by five subwaves. Okay, so daily chart still only wave one, wave two. Now we are in a wave three, which is very rarely will be shorter than wave one. So that's why I'm looking for minimum targets at 100% which means definitely uh, of wave one measured from a wave two swing low, uh, which at the same time is 161.8% extension of wave one. So actually I see room for more upside. So when 10 year US notes will start lo uh, rolling lower, uh, lower that's when S&P 500 can get even more bullish momentum. Okay, so um, that's also when pound yen and euro yen could found uh, the support as well. But as I said, I would pay more attention to pound yen than euro yen because euro pound is bearish. I see more uh, room for more weakness and cable has much better bullish structure than euro dollar. Okay, so um, that's it traders. I think that uh, this could be some very interesting time if I'm correct on the 10 year US notes. So um, those Yen crosses uh, could be now uh, more frequent on our intraday page. Okay, thank you very much and see you in the chat room or tomorrow for the new intraday updates. Bye.